hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to make the array rotation in python so i have written down here so we are going to make a python program for array rotation so here i have given example here so if we have a array that has one two five numbers so here we will be giving two inputs that is d the numbers to move and this is the total number of the elements in the array so let us consider here as two so when we give here two it should just one should go behind and two should go behind so this example is if we give three here so the three variables i mean three values has gone in the last position of it so first one has gone in the last then next two went in the last then last three was there here so how to do this in a program we'll see now so let us open our code so here first we'll create one function define left rotate will name it left rotate function in which we will be passing one array and the numbers to move that will be d and the size of the array let us keep that n so first let us comment here and keep so d is the number of elements to move and the n is number of elements in the array okay so it's clear till here so now let us give here so we'll use a for loop here for how many numbers to move i'll use the variable for x in range of d okay so here if it is we have to move two so this loop will run two times and here instead of doing this we'll call a function here we'll call rotate one we'll name the function as rotate one rotate one function in this we'll pass the array and the size of the total array so here we'll create the function define just copy and paste the array name so that you don't misspell it and get some errors and we are the passing the parameters as array and one the total length of this so here what we are going to do is we will store the first value in one temporary variable so we'll call it temp arr of 0 so we are going to store it in this way and now what we are going to do is we are going to all the remaining elements in the array we are going to push it one step forward so we'll use a j loop here for j in range of how many times we have to loop this the number of number of elements we have in the array that is n so n minus 1 so here we are just going to do arr of j is equal to arr of j plus 1 so whatever is there in one step forward just bring it here we are telling so this will move one like one very uh, one element at a time and again it will go here so again this will call so we are moving to uh, two elements so two elements it will this function will be called twice and this will move the elements two times so first it will move the one then it will move the two so now what we have to do is after rearranging this we have to just push the last element sorry that was the first element so which was there first we had removed it and kept it in the temp variable so now arr of n minus one will assign the value of the temp which we had removed in the beginning so now let's give the driver code for this so now we'll just call the function left rotate and we have to pass the array so first let us write the array over here i'll name it arr equals to just one two and five now let us add it as 6 over here so now we will pass the parameters here that is array and now we have to give the number of elements to move so I will put 3 over here and the size is 6 right so we will put 6 over here so now we have to print it so print the array so now we'll go to the terminal and we are going to run the program so to run py file name dot py 
try dot py hit enter so you see we had passed the d as 3 so it has moved three times so one is in the like first one had moved then two and the three so now we have the array in this format so let us run it once again if you want this you can give it in the runtime also so i'll just give two here now so let us see it should run two times yes so now you see three is in the first here we had given three so three was in the last one two three then started with four now here we have given only two so one and two is sent in the back and now three to six it is in the front so in this video we have seen how to make the array rotation so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you